Welcome back to Show and Tell with BTL. I'm still Will. And I'm Andrew. Good morning. And today we're welcoming... Stephanie Jennings. <laughs> Stephanie Jennings, who is has a studio at Low Mill. And what does your studio do at Low Mill? Um, so it's a photography studio, and I photograph all kinds of events, special events, people, and um, I print and sell photos from my rock and roll archives. Okay. And when you say your rock and roll archives... I'm sorry. We've got to have a Paul Harvey moment right here and go, and now it's time for the rest, rest of, of the story. story. <laughs> I read your bio before coming over today, and I just... I don't know if the, the words came off the page, but I just felt so uh, attracted to you and just everything that... It, like I told you when we walked the door, it's like, you know, you, you have lived life for sure, and I want to hear everything about it. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, we only have half an hour, so we have to do the abbreviated <laughs> version. <laughs> okay. So just, just take us back and, and take us down memory lane and tell us everything you've been and done, and I don't know, tell us your story. Um, well, that's a lot. It is. That would take a while. <laughs> well, and you can write a memoir, can't you? I could. You could, I it could. could be a word and a photographic memoir. Yes, yes, yes. So um, I speak much better through my photos. Mm -hmm. So it could definitely be a photographic memoir from back in the day, starting um, actually with The Grateful Dead in 88 mm -hmm. um, through now with Dead and Company. Um, this is their last tour, uh, 2023. Oh, and so you're going to be out on the road with them? And I won't be out on the road with okay. them. Um, I will be enjoying the show and, of course, taking okay. pictures. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So what? how did you, get, did you get on that path to being a photographer to the rock stars of the world? Um, well, it actually started in college at the University of Alabama. Um, it's a music town. Yes. And um, the Black Crows, mm. uh, Natalie Merchant, oh. R.E.M., uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, they used to all play at the fraternity houses, at the bars, and I would just um, go and take pictures. Oh, and a local name, Telluride. Mm. Oh. They, I did photograph Telluride um, a lot. That was a big project. <laughs> so one of my favorite, all-time favorites ever, um, did you ever photograph the B-52s? I I didn't photograph their show, but oh. I have pictures of them and mm -hmm. with them from a party at um, <laughs> the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame introductions in New York. Very cool. Very cool. So in the 90s, you were probably a lot of time on the road and everything and photographing all these great, uh, I mean, talk about no degrees of separation in your life. I mean, <laughs> you probably could pick up a phone call and reach anybody in the world you'd want to. Sometimes. I feel like that. Yeah. So. Um, I, give us some favorite moments, some favorite highlights, you know, uh, in the past, from the past, what, 30 years? So uh, some of the highlights would be, I mean, the MTV Awards uh, back in the day when uh, Kurt Cobain and mm -hmm. Courtney Love were together and they just had Francis Bean. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, some great pictures of um, Kurt Cobain holding Francis and they're both looking at each other with their fingers up their nose. <laughs> That is, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Metallica had also uh, won a whole bunch of awards at that particular event. Mm -hmm. And I got to, I'm at the after party, do a session with them that back in the day was published in all the rock and roll magazines, the Metal Edge, you know, Heavy Metal Magazine. Um, if anyone remembers what, you know, those those magazines were back in the day. Yes, they were. <laughs> Absolutely. That's funny. I mean, we, we kind of had, had not, not a similar trajectory, but the past 30 years, I've been presenting Broadway shows, and you've been photographing, uh, taking pictures of famous rock stars. Yes. How cool is that? Yes. Um, so where, where did the, all this lead you? So, um, I mean, all of this led me... To where, to where you are today in your studio at Low Mill. So all of this led me, you know, to my studio today mm -hmm. and, you know, back in the day with film and slides for magazines and everything. So I have just archives of probably a million mm -hmm. slides and negatives that I've been digitizing and printing things and showing things that I've never published before. In fact, I just um, published some Tori Amos photos, mm -hmm. which I'd never um, published before. So looking through everything and it's just... I get really caught up in like remembering the moment because I got to 
photograph tour. It was just me and her back in the dressing room, and you know, I was telling her how to pose, and she took all her rings off and laid them down. And then I realized when she went on stage, she had left all her rings. Mm -hmm. And so luckily, I was sitting with her parents for the show, uh. which was interesting, and got to give her rings back to her parents. But One of the things I've noticed in working in Broadway for this many years, and a lot of times we don't have celebrities or whatever that will come through, but every once in a while we do. One of the things I noticed in my 30 years is that the bigger the star that they were, the nicer they were, and the smaller of a star that they were, the more of a challenge that they were? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> do you have any favorite, I'm, I, I, you don't need to name names or anything, but do you have any maybe favorite uh, 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 personality or rock star that you've met or one that you're like, hey, good to see you? You know, maybe not so much. Um, I would not want to see, say the ones not so much yeah. because they're still around, uh, yeah. but there's definitely been some moments and some surprises. Um, but the positive uh, events with you know Sting and Iggy Pop and mm. uh, Butthole Surfers. Um, the Butthole Surfers, I love them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just wants to be able to say that on TV. Yeah, That's exactly. what it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were then they were with Stone Temple Pilots at the time, mm -hmm. and and I photographed Stone Temple Pilots. Um, they were opening for um, some metal band, but they mm -hmm. were in you know a little camper, you know. We did the photo shoot out in the camper while the other band was playing. So, you know, that was before they had any hits. Wow. Well, I know from my experience, you know, one the publicly. She always was thought to be just this gruff, rough person. But Joan Rivers was the most kindest, purest of heart person I think I've ever met in my entire life. I just, she made me almost cry when she hugged me. I was just like, Joan Rivers is hugging me? <laughs> That's crazy. So with that being said, it's yes. a great spot because we have to take a break. Okay. Believe it or not, we do have to put some commercials sure, and stuff sure, in here. Sure, 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 sure. So we will be back with you in just a few minutes, and we're going to hear some more of the... What's going on in Huntsville here today? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. See you in a few minutes. Thank you.